We begin with that breaking news. Israel is accusing Hezbollah of launching what it's calling an infiltration attempt on its border with Lebanon. It happened in the past couple of hours in the Sheba Farms region. There's been no confirmation as yet from Hezbollah that it was behind the incident. The United Nations is urging restraint from both sides. Israel's Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu has posted on Twitter saying what was happening on the northern border was being constantly monitored. He says Israel won't allow Iran to establish itself on the border. Netanyahu adds that Lebanon and Hezbollah will be responsible for any attack out of Lebanon. We have two correspondents uh, working on this story. Harry Fawcett is live for us in West Jerusalem in just a few moments. But first, let's join Zaina Hoda, who's on the Lebanon side of that border with Israel. Zaina, what's the latest? A much-awaited statement from the Lebanese armed group Hezbollah released uh, just a short while ago. Hezbollah denying that there was any sort of attack. In the statement it says there was no operation today, there was no exchange of fire. Uh, we did not open fire. It was the Israelis who opened fire. And the statement adds that the Israeli army is in a state of confusion. Uh, we do know that there has been tension along this border for uh, the past few days now uh, ever since it was confirmed that a Hezbollah fighter was killed in what was believed to be an Israeli airstrike in Syria and everyone was waiting for the uh, possible Hezbollah retaliation because Hezbollah promised in the past that any if any of its fighters are killed in Syria it, it will retaliate so Hezbollah now saying that uh, there was no operation the Israeli army initially said that there was a security incident and then it went on to explain that uh, a group of Hezbollah fighters tried to infiltrate the Sheba farm. So conflicting narratives here on what exactly happened behind me, behind those hills, is Sheba Farms, a disputed area, disputed territory, a land that intersects Syria, Israel, and Lebanon. And it's quite significant that um, if indeed there was some sort of operation that Hezbollah has now uh, denied uh, to choose this area because it's disputed. It means that Hezbollah does not want to escalate the situation. Any sort of operation there, it can easily justify by saying that it is defending uh, Lebanese territory. In the eyes of Lebanon, uh, this territory, Sheba Farms, belongs to it. Uh, but uh, the status of Sheba has not been settled by the international community because Lebanon and Syria have still not demarcated uh, their their border. So Hezbollah now saying that there was no operation and now saying that it was the Israeli army that's confused, uh, uh, really criticizing, if you if you like, the Israeli army. Uh, but I can tell you that a Lebanese uh, security source told Al Jazeera a moment after the Israeli army reported a security incident that some um, sort of incident or attack or reconnaissance mission, but something happened along this border. Al Jazeera, Zaina Hara reporting live there from the Lebanon side of the border with Israel. Let's bring in Al Jazeera's Harry Fawcett, who's in West Jerusalem. Uh, Harry, what's Israel saying about what happened on the border? Well, yes, the Israeli military, as uh, Zaina was just reporting, was, is saying that there was an attempt to infiltrate by a cell of three to five Hezbollah fighters uh, into Israeli-controlled territory in the occupied Golan Heights in the Sheba Farms area, uh, that they tracked this cell before they entered Israeli territory. They came into or Israeli-controlled territory. They came a few meters inside that territory and that they were driven back, the Israeli military says, by uh, machine gun fire, tank fire and artillery. Uh, now, during the course and just after the course of this incident, uh, the Israeli military instructed all civilians to remain indoors in the area. About an hour later, they went back to normal procedures, allowing people uh, back onto the roads and into open spaces once again, signaling that from the Israeli perspective, things seem to have uh, returned to a, a lower level of uh, alert and insecurity. Uh, but as far as the Israelis are concerned, they're saying that there was an attempt uh, they have been waiting for such an attempt for days now since that strike inside Syria in which uh, a Hezbollah fighter was killed. And uh, as far as they were concerned, they were preempting or responding to uh, such an attempt to infiltrate their territory. Al Jazeera's Harry Fawcett, live in West Jerusalem. Harry, many thanks.